All right, all right, I'll talk about it. The biggest question I've been asked in the less than a month that I've run this channel is what program I use to edit. I use an editing program called Adobe Premiere Pro. It's a really powerful tool for editing that I definitely recommend for anyone looking to get into editing. It takes a while to learn, but it's worth it. In this tutorial, I'll be going over syncing, effects, and transitions, and a few extra steps to get you guys on the right track. Here's the end product of this tutorial. Bang bang pow, what I do is magic. I hop on the track and he get the spaz and rip and break the shit till he get the crack and all hell breaks loose when I get the packet. Got flows all day, you can check my notes. No interruptions when I'm in my zone. You hate what Syncing in montages refers to lining up shots to the beat of the song. When the song and the clips are synchronized, it becomes satisfying. To start syncing, play your song in the timeline and make markers by pressing M on the audio track as you keep track of the beat. For this tutorial, I'll be using a portion of the song No Sleep by Cam Michael and some clips from Parandor. Next, watch your clips and go along to the point of the kill. The frame right when the gun fires, just before the kill is, is where you place your marker. Set an in point and an out point to select which part of the clip you'll use and drag it to the timeline. If you have the snapping feature turned on, the markers should line up. Drag the ends of the clips to the markers so they'll sync up to the beat of the song as well. Here's what we have so far. Pretty good, but we'll take it a step farther. Effects are cool because they give the kills a little extra oomph, something to highlight the impressiveness of the clip. The three standard effects I use are exposure, blur, and the screen pump. To start, create an adjustment layer in the program panel and drag it onto the second video track above your clips. Search Lumetri Color on the Effects tab and drag it onto the Adjustment layer. Click the drop down arrow and click the stopwatch next to Exposure to toggle the animated keyframes. By doing this, we can manipulate the points at which the exposure will change over time. Go to the frame of the kill and make a keyframe. From there, go 2 frames to the left and set another keyframe. Then go 10 frames to the right and make another keyframe. Select the keyframe in the middle and change the exposure value to 4. If we watch this back, the clip should have a flash as the gun fires. To achieve a blur effect, follow the same steps but this time search camera blur in the effects tab and make the middle keyframe have a blur value of 7. And for the screen pump, search transforming the effects tab, drag it onto the adjustment layer and scroll down and change the scale value to about 110 on, on the frame of the kill. Here's what we have so far. It looks pretty clean, but we've got one more step to go. Transitions and montages can make clips appear more connected in time and make switching between them more seamless. Cutting from clip to clip as a transition is good, but I like my transitions to be more fluid and mobile. The snappy and quick transitions I use in my montages are from this video by Orange83. Once you've downloaded them from his selfie page, right click on the presets folder in the effects tab to import them from your downloads folder or wherever you download them to. You may have to close Premiere and then open it again for them to appear in your presets folder. To start, I usually go 6 frames to both sides of the cut where the clips end and make a cut. Select both of the small chunks of the video and drag the main preset onto both of them. Have them both selected again, right click, and click nest to merge the two cuts. From here, you drag any transition you want onto the nested clips, and it's that easy. Here's what we have so far. And that looks really good, I think, and at this point, you could export it. To export, go up to the top left, click File, go down, and click Export. Choose your video file name, format, and where the video will export to. I export an H.264 and YouTube 1080p for the best quality. And you're done. I hope you guys learned something from this and that hopefully this pulls back the curtain a bit as how I make my montages. If you got any questions, let me know. And of course, you don't have to do everything exactly as I say. Definitely try to find your own style to make your montages stand out. And that's about it.